uh, Kelvin Davis in them. They'll, 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 they'll go along with it? Well, I've been trying to trick this in my mobile number there. Oh, OK. So he's more, more or less, um, uh, him and Winston Peters would have more, um, more political clout at the moment. That's the way I see it. Well, 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 well the bottom line, mm -hmm. where all these government ministers yeah. then how the Maori people at Renton. That's right. That's right. You've got a portion of them on one side of Maori and you've got your fellows on the other side. So they will want to be lining their pockets up with the government's money. Yep. Their people have been suffering and been suiciding and killing themselves and and what not, at their expense. That's right. That's that's dead right. So that that Maori problem has to be undone by Maori themselves because and, 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 and they will pay with their own lives. Well, that's the result of of colonization. Um, no, with, no, that, 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 that's the result of trying to fill your pockets up. Well, that's the they're getting paid to do that. The the, the government or the crown. Pays them, pays they them. Know what they're doing. Yeah, they know that. Highly intellectual they are. Yeah, that. Yeah, but they can't. They can't really. They can't make a contract with anybody. That's what they're trying to do around the back door through the TPPA. That's right. The That's CPTPP. Right. The CP. The new name is the CPTPP, right. and they're trying to come around through that way. To, to get at the country because they can't go direct to Britain, yeah. to Britain, because yeah, of... We've we, we, we sent the document over to Sun Alliance, yeah. to the government, yeah. to the United Nations, yeah. to the Vatican, yeah. and to the Queen. Right, but you realise that the Queen is in business and it's very difficult to... Uh, because she's gone and abandoned everybody, she's about to abdicate to Charlie, and there was uh, there was some saying that she was going to abdicate to Harry, so they've confused everybody by saying, "Oh, Harry's going to be the king now." It's Charlie. You're talking, you're talking away from your friend, and I can't hear. Oh, Charlie is is destined to be the next um, Commonwealth leader in place of the Queen, and we don't know who's going to be the King on that side of the Queen. And that's the part that's confused everybody, and because... Well, our letters have gone forward before she's abdicated. Yeah, yeah. So our letters will be highly, highly legal, whatever, whatever happens. Yes, that's right. Well, you folks are doing exactly the right thing. In that, in that part of what the government's done here, you fellas have to hold them to account. Yeah. I'm, I'm, holding, uh, I'm holding the Queen in Britain to account, in, yeah. in Westminster, because everything's set to go. And, yeah. and, and so you fellas still have to do what you fellas, uh, with, with, the, with the Maori government or whatever, because you'll have to get your name back. Yeah. And we were doing a cross claim over the over uh, the uh, the over the Rarawa. Okay, so. That's what we're doing today and tomorrow. Okay, so where's Bundy fit in it? Where? Bundy is. Uh, where does he fit in it with uh, Hiruini? Well, well. You remember that trip we went to Fakatani? Yeah, um, the Matatua. Yeah. Did you see any Matatua people take to him to be judge? No. No, there was there was a, a different setting there, and I'm, I'm following what you fellas. I can understand everything what you fellas are doing, and it just appears that he's gone another way. Um, but it appears to be so. Yeah. But we've called to have a meeting with him on, on Tuesday. Right. To find out what country he's trying to represent. Yes. So that's because the thing is because. Um, uh, you you fellows are closer to to the Waitangi side of of uh, Titi than because he hasn't been in it um, that as long on that journey on what you fellows are doing, um, um, and, and he's been more crowned. Well, the, the tea, I think it's more for the 
Following well, there's, that's what I mean. It's got several several parts to to how it's pre presented. But if you if you're going with a Maori government, you have more more stick with you with uh, with getting somewhere because that's that's a legal sense of what Sue Nakora is doing. Is what I I I've been with it for a long time. I can understand what you fellows are doing, but anybody else outside with different ideas, I just know where that's gone. Now, we're, we're promoted soon to be Governor-General in actuality. Yeah, so that's fine because I've got all those documents here. I, I know what how you fellows are doing things. I've got no problem with that. I've got no problem with that. I'm going down the other path to head off where the flag went. You fellows have to look after the land here. And what happens here, I'm, I'm, I'm gone international, where everything went. Well, did, did, did you understand what we did at Waitangi? Oh yes, I, I know exactly what, what you fellas are doing. Um, and, and at the end of the day, it's the flag. You know, you, know, you, know where, you know where we put up the flag? Yeah. When we you raised up the, the Whakaminima flag up in Waitangi? Yeah, I, I know, I know that, yeah. I wasn't there, but did, I know. Did you know on the flag pole, on the flag pole, at yeah, where, where we actually raised the flag. Uh, on the treaty ground. Yes. Yeah, so that's the ship, a British ship. No, no, that's where exactly the treaty of Waitangi was signed. Yeah, if it's signed there, it, no matter what, the contract goes with the British uh, ship. Yeah, the, the, the ship, that's a ship on, on dry land. It doesn't need a court. Mm -hmm. Because the Fakamina, the parliament, was, the, the Fakamina was put to sleep in 1947. Yeah, so that's fine. And we went up there on August of last year to raise it up, to wake it up. Yeah, so so you're doing everything according to the Confederation and the Fakamina. I, I, yes. got, I got no problem with that. So, so far, everything is in the Maori title. That's the way I see it, with, with the flag has been used. Fine, but where does where does uh, Jim Week or two fit in? Jim Week or two took the horse outstanding, and we took the horse standing. So did he become a judge or not? No, he did not. You did, didn't want to. We haven't put that to him. Okay, so that's fine because you're following a pattern of of um, the Fakamenia itself uh, yeah. and how how it used the flag. How, how 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 it went together, okay? So 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 far, uh, uh, so far you you fellows are doing everything right by what happened from 1835. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you keep on that path because I'm going from 1820 to 1834. I'm going from that period of those five kings leading up to King William. That's what that's what I've got in America going at the moment. Yeah, because it went around the world. King William the Fourth was operating the business with the with, with, with his flag and everything in New York on a stock exchange. So I've gone where the gold is. I've, I've gone where where everything I'm accounting for of what who and what. This government here was using their flag to give the consent to everybody else. See, this government and Jerry Matapurai 
Jerry Matapurai's ambassador to New Zealand for those Maoris, right? On, su on, on Sunday, Monday, Monday, hey. on Monday, twelve o'clock. Okay, bye. Bye. Well, that's Willie. You see, good old Willie from um, um, the Marae up in over in Hokianga across the other side. Waimana Marae, something like that. So he's just checking up. So that's the latest I've heard from him today being Saturday the 28th of um, April 2018. I'm a little bit tired because I've been up since midnight. A lot to do before I travel out overseas. And so um, Sunakora has um, uh, consented to being a Governor General of New Zealand. And they've got judges. So they're going along in a fashion of 1835 of this flag in a Queen's jurisdiction. The problem I have with that is that it doesn't match up with the King's jurisdiction of Admiralty with the flag and the ship on dry land. The ship is not for anything else but the King's business. King's Bench Native Grand Jury Court. That's the part that Bundy was in and money and Hedewini. That's the side that I'm on. And that's why I ask, where does Bundy and Hedda Winnie sit? Well, they're right out of it. They didn't want any part in it. They're on this side, quietly. And Manahi, Mohini, is on this side. They signed these documents that I put together on the king side. The king of the flag. The king gave it to chiefs, paramount chiefs, not Maori chiefs. That's the problem. That's what I say to him. You deal with Maoris. You got a problem with Maoris. Deal with Maoris. And we're dealing with kings and other people who are feral state because they have no contract in this side. I'm still doing it. Hang on. I just got Daryl. Still put together. Hear that? I hear. Will you pay down? Pay down. Online. More like, like checking me. What? I do it. They are the things I.
There's an apple. There's a big apple. Here. With Mary. Just put them up. Click. Click. <laughs> but they have the blueprint too. Yes. So I've got Daryl on the line. I'm just chatting to him in California. We've got the flag flying there. He's got a letter from Donald Trump. And we're trying to get an appointment with him to put the flag up in the White House. So, um, yeah, I'm just getting, we're just throwing off, bouncing off each other. He's very good. Okay, see you. Um, well, okay. I'll put the video I'll put the video up a little later. Oh, wait. Oh, forgot. Okay, so the latest is this. For everybody watching, looks like he was hospitalized in Peru after the wedding. Oh well. Um, so, this is how it is with um, Titi and the Confederation of Chiefs or the Whakaminia, call it what you like. Maori have to look after their own problem and fix it. At the moment, the word Maori and everything Maori belongs to the Crown and the Queen. So they have to deal with the Queen. They're chasing after the Queen and keeps writing to them, to the Queen, and the Queen keeps shoving them back to the Governor-General and so forth. I've, I've done it myself and had the same thing done to me. Just goes around in a circle. Because she's gone now. They think she's still there, but she's gone. I'm afraid to say that, but she is gone. And Trump has no business with her. He's going straight to Theresa May to make a deal, and he's made a deal with France, and um, they are safe, North Korea. Um, so, um, and because they've got interest in South Korea, he's joined South Korea and North Korea to make it a conglomerate with America. And now he just needs Britain. He can run Britain from America. That's what I'm saying to Daryl. Get the flag up in the White House and run it from there, run the world from there, because. 
it looks like that's where it's getting run from in the first place. Get rid of the uh, um, UN, get rid of them, because they're trying to shut down America. Get rid of the Rothschilds, get rid of the Queen, and you'll be on a straight path. Unfortunately, Maori is with the Queen. That's why Bundy pulled out and hit me and money and signed these documents for the king. I stick by my word in what I say. I've got to get myself going first because I'm forging ahead with the flag. I'm going where the ships went around the world. Ratna didn't go around the world on this flag. They went on their own flag. Ship. They were trying to do the same thing. Trade as Maori. The word Maori was only fashioned from 1945 war period. Everything started with war and banks. That's how it became to where it is now. And all the wealth and all the prize possessions came out of this admiralty of these five kings. King William III, the creator of the Bank of England and the Pound Note. That's the instruments we're using in California. And he created the municipalities of collecting the rent off the leased lands of the king and also the fines and administrative costs to run business in the commercial world of the monarchy's corporate crown business. We are the corporate crown business, the Moai crown. The other crown of the queen is defunct because she's walked off and threatened Britain with her own government, underworld government. So rather than turn the camera on what we're doing, it's all on Facebook. And I'm back on Facebook, I got knocked out 30 days, but I've gone on to Morrison, um, Mariana or Marianne Baker, onto their um, sites I set up and the computers I set up, I've got some computers for them, and set up our base in the Hokianga region of this land on the native court in Rawane. That's the native court straight to Britain. The first immigration in this country came there. And Te Rawaikato here in Manukau. That's the title to New Zealand. Nobody else. That's the admiralty title of this flag on the king's side. Maori's a third party with the queen, third party. Vice Admiral of this flag. It's there as a debtor company on their incorporations. Their incorporations have been fashioned around fraud, and all of that fraud adds up to the king's jurisdiction of sovereign authority and his laws and acts. In Westminster Parliament. So, to Willie and Wehepa Epiha and Sunakora and a few others, you have your stories of Māori on these lands. Don't forget, Māori word was not your creation. It was the creation of the Crown Corporation, Rothschild Banks and the Queen. That's why you have to go back and get what you want from the Queen if there's anything left there. You have to go through hoops, through the United Nations, and that's fraud as well. That's what Trump is trying to shut down that business. He will. He will, now that the flag's on dry land in America, planted there in an embassy in California, with the right man for the right job. Daryl Pan. French and Macron was there with Trump. That's the way it goes, people. When you're in a commercial world, all the titles add up to the wealth that's being created, not the native title. That's the original landowners. If you're not a commercial landowner, 
under the king, then you are commercial landowner under the queen, debtor. Judgment, debtor. Everybody on that side, here, left side, is the judgment debtor, judgment creditor, king. Now, anyone using the flag for anything else other than what it's meant to be for is a third party in a private contract, because that's what it is. If you don't understand that flag, then unfortunately for you, it has no legacy, meaning illegal in it. I was told that by barristers. John, make it legal. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so the big players in the commercial world of kings has the power to use the authority to keep that legacy going. The Queen has jumped out of Britain and gone into EU Parliament as a threat against Britain itself. She loses her title and her siblings loses their titles under the Sophia Act and under the Deprivations Act 1949. She loses her titles. That's why she took off and because she's in business. If you're in business, you're in conflict because she's hiding under King William III, one of the five kings under this flag. Somebody's been using this flag to make a lot of money. I'm calling up the accounts and settling full and final before Trump puts his gold standard currency and resets the global debt facility. I'm just saying on this video in front of everybody in the world that the pound note with Ernst Augustus the fifth on the pound note is a judgment debtor creditor instrument over all that gold and that global reset where is the gold? I've put the title right over it. Under these five kings, King William III, the creator of the Bank of England, the creator of the pound note and the gold coins currency, and the creator of the Municipalities Act to collect all the rent from the king's conquered lands leased out as occupation land titles. The crown still owns, even though you've got a mortgage on the land that Trump is getting rid of. This is what's happening. Trump is forgiving debt that they created in the first place. And putting somebody's goal up. I'm saying to Daryl, whose goal? Who has the title to the goal in the land title where it's stored? Mm -hmm. I'm saying to him, the native titles on the native lands that have been conquered by the kings is in Edinburgh, Scotland. So, you wonder why Daryl got a letter from the president in such quick time. I've never seen a letter be returned so quickly from Moai Crown. Brand name and federal state at that, because this is a federal state flag. It's not a Maori flag, for fucker many us. It's a federal state flag for going around the world. You can't just start up something when you haven't got the documents. Follow the ship backwards. You've got to have all those documents. You can't just jump on it and use it, because the British shall say no. Sunakura has already been to the United Nations and Harvard and they want a chief, a paramount chief with the titles. That's the first thing they'll say. Where's the chief? Who's his king? Where's his title? And that's where it falls apart. Unfortunately, that's how commercial contracts work. Unless you've got a 
memorial title to the land, you can't do it. And unless you've got the documents to stack up with your name as part of the monarch, you got no say. If you've got a link to the Moai statue, you might get there, but no one's talking about it because no one knows how that works. Okay? You've got your own memorials, you've got your own chiefs, but they had no contracts. That's the problem with Maoris. They can go on and on and on, on with their chiefs and their queen, but the queen is fraud. She's fraud. She went to a treason school to learn how to be treason. That's why no one can touch her. You know why? Because it's a private contract of admiralty, court martial law. That's what I'm doing with this flag. It's a court martial law flag. Nobody's business. It's her business and which chief she talks to. If she talks to Peter Peroni, that's her chief, not the Whakaminia. That's your problem. You've got to get her on your side. I can't see that happening because the damage is done. You have to go and get those other Maoris and string them up with some sort of law. You can't go and make your own law because nobody's going to trade with it. You see, I'm using British law because this is a British flag. It's not a native flag. It's a British flag for British business. Got it? So, anyway, I'm going to Philippines on my escapade. I didn't quite get a meeting with um, Duterte, but I will, the President of Philippines, but I'll be meeting people there and setting up business with the tidal turbines and also with the local people. I'm good when it comes to mingling with the people. That's what I want to do and get out of the office. Um, Daryl's doing a very good job in uh, California and the other ones that are watching, it'll be good time to um, gather around um, because this was set up for the whole lot of the world, this flag. And um, uh, in a sense, um, uh, Trump has got his authority from somewhere. He's sticking to the French, he'll stick to his own Scottish, and dare I say it, he will stick to the Maori Crown and the King William IV Scottish side of King William and Protestant with the Irish. Hmm? But, like I was saying, he can run Britain from America with this flag. Don't have to go there because it's in a mess. The Queen has left the whole of Britain in a mess with that Muslim um, mayor of, of uh, London. He's been put there fashion by Rothschild banks to spoil the title of the kings. Well, the Act of Sophia Act, 1940, uh, Sophia Act and the Deprivations Act, 1947, will take care of her and check her out. That's what I'm doing with Trump at the present time. It looks like he's going to put the gold up that's somewhere. He won't tell you where. He's going to do it. I'm putting an instrument over what he says. When he utters where gold is and he's going to make a new gold money, then I'm holding this power note over his gold that he's going to dish out and put the power note right over it before I go to the Philippines. I'm doing that right now. It'll be online soon. So this is part of that announcement on this video. Is that Mr. Trump, President of the United States of America and uh, Washington DC, um, private company, uh, I'm saying to you that um, this flag of King William the Third, King William the Fourth, King George IV, King George III, and Ernest Augustus the First 
is the Emperor's flag over all the wealth in America and the Commonwealth countries of the world. So, I've given the flag to Darrell Payne to plant in the soil land of America. It went into the embassy in California first. There was more into the ground, on the house, anywhere. It's working as a embassy to Britain, UK, New Zealand, America. Okay? So I'm hoping that you will make an appointment with us to come and bring the flag, a big flag, that Daryl has, because I've got another one to put up on the embassy, and to raise the big one that's on his house, in his house, up in Washington DC. Mr. Trump, that's what I want to do. So if you'll kindly allow Daryl Payne and I to come to here to present you with the flag to raise it on behalf of the five kings, emperors, to continue with business as usual between there and Britain, UK, Westminster and clean out all the swamp rats in the Congress in Washington DC and also the Lords in London, get them all out and start again fresh. Okay, so that's what I want to say today on this video. I'll make one later on to Daryl with this letter I'm writing to him to give him the authority. I've given him the authority to use this flag with all the memorials and the title and its worth value of 970 million trillion trillion pound notes over what you're just about to do Donald Trump on the 30th of April 2018 when I fly it to the Philippines that's when you're going to do something with the flag I'll end this video and I'll put another video up a little later uh, with uh, the letter to Daryl to give him authority to set up with Trump. He has a rapport with Trump over a few years with his own land blocks and so they're on a par and he's French and Macron is French and they got some deal going and I want a deal with Trump. I want to deal with you, Trump. Okay? That's me. Out for the day. Bye for now.